y'all welcome and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm doing my passion tweets as y'all can already tell i'm using this shining jam jam and i'm going to be making my parts um y'all already know my parts don't really be straight so i tried my hardest um i did the rest of my hair the night before i parted it and i did a section um the night before and then i did I know I did two sections the night before, and then I did, I'll do this last section on camera just to show y'all, but right here, I just wanted to pretty much just show y'all how I parted my hair individually. Um, this took about mm, two hours. Like I said already, my parts was not straight, you know, so I went on ahead and sped this part up, but pretty much I just sectioned off my hair into uh, the rectangular parts, and I started going Oh, y'all, this hair was not good. I don't recommend this hair. I'm just showing y'all. <laughs> Look, I shook my head. Because this hair is not, it was not what I thought it was going to be. I highly recommend using the free tress hair. Um, I couldn't find free tress at my hair store, so I had to get this. So you really can't see this as well, but I do have other clips later on in the video. This is at normal speed, and I just wanted to just show y'all what I did. I pretty much wrapped the hair the water wave hair around the rubber band um i looped it around and i like pulled it but not really really tight and then i started braiding the top just so i can secure the hair so that if i pull it you know it won't just slip out and i just continued to braid until i got to you know a point where i was like okay i can separate these two pieces and i know it's not making a lot of sense right now but if you keep watching you'll see what i mean after i got to a certain point of my hair i began to twist my hair all the way down until i got to the preferred length i don't know why i'm looking like that <laughs> as you can see i cut my ends uh, most people rubber band their ends and leave them like puffy and don't twist them but i wanted to cut mine because i knew the length that i wanted and although this hair said it was 12 inches i don't think it was 12 inches it seemed a little longer to me but yeah okay so this is a very much better recording of the twist so as you can see right here i wrapped the twist i mean the water wave hair around the rubber band and then i just braid it down i braid under as y'all can tell for about, I don't know, maybe mm, six, seven times until I knew it was secure. And I think it depends on how long your hair is compared to the twist. Um, I had to braid a little longer. If your hair isn't as long, you can stop at a certain point and it won't look, it won't have the braided effect. Um, right there, I don't, I forgot. Okay, I know. I, I started twisting and I would like use jam. So if you see me dipping now, I'm using jam to make sure that all my hair is um, inside of the twist and not outside so it doesn't look all frizzy and stuff. Right here, I slowed it down for y'all so I can show y'all how I started my twist off and how I got from a braid to a twist. So pretty much, I did my braid down to the section, like how far I wanted it to go. And right here, as you can see, I separated um, a piece of the water wave hair with a piece of my hair on both sides. As you can see, I'm pulling it apart. And that is when I started to, well, I got some jam just to make sure all my hair was inside and I started to twist. And I know my instructions aren't the clearest, but right here I sped it up again. So as y'all could just see like at least one more time with me talking on how to do it. Um, it was hard. Like it's my grip skills are not the best. So I think that's probably one of the biggest things that you need to have some type of grip skills. So your twist and your um I mean so your hair and the water wave hair won't, you know, keep on slipping out. 
But as you can see, I just wrapped it around the rubber band and I continued to braid until I felt like, you know, it was secure enough. And you'll know when it's secure. And then I pulled two pieces of hair, one of mine, one of the water wave, and then on the other side I did the same thing. And I just twisted all the way down, making sure all the hair was inside the uh, water wave hair. Y'all, so I just 
freaking spent, I don't know, maybe five hours doing my hair. And I'll never do it again. But I split it up. I I did my um parts last night. It took about two hours. I did the side section and the back section and it took like an hour and a excuse me. An hour and a half and then I did this section on camera and that took about like, 30 to 45 minutes. I, I'm really not doing these no more. Like I thought I was gonna be able to start doing my own hair, do my box spray, do you know, passion tweets, cute little styles, but no. I'm sticking to my hair and I'ma just leave that to the professionals, to the people that certify. Cause baby girl, this is not for me. A lot of people do crochets rather than individuals, so it's probably why it took me so long. They're coming apart a little bit. I don't like that. I'm not a professional. I did these the way that I knew how. I did watch a couple tutorials, but I mean watching a tutorial and actually doing what you saw in the tutorial two different things and yeah i'm one that i just really just found my own rhythm and i just did it i mean it wasn't that easy i was about to cry last night trying to do my hair so make sure you like comment and subscribe for more